Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you my newest upload in the Reactor user library uh, called the Molecular Music Box. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new Reactor content at least once a week. Um, so first things first, um, the molecular music box is a simple algorithm that I found online um, to create four bar long sequences. And it works primarily with, I mean you can use any type of sound, but it sounds best with a mallet type of a sound. So let's just listen to some examples. All right, so that's how it sounds, and let's take a look at how it works. So we have our two basic parameters that are gonna do most of the heavy lifting here are length A and length B. And these determine the position of the notes in the sequence. So how the algorithm works is um, we first place a note at the um, base note chosen by the user and it's going to be uh, length A notes long, or beats long. So if we have this set to four, then the first note is going to be a bar long. And then when that note ends, we're going to play the next note in scale above it. And we'll check to see if there are any other notes um, currently playing at that position. And if there are, we'll uh, switch over to use length B for the length of that note. And if not, then we'll just stick with length A. So this is a pretty simple algorithm. Um, you just keep flipping back and forth the length of the notes, um, depending on whether or not there's already a note at a given point in the sequence. So this process is a little difficult to describe, but uh, I'll leave a link to, in the video description to the original Molecular Music Box video, and they show uh, how they build one of these sequences from scratch, and it makes it pretty clear how everything works. And it's even possible um, by setting length A to the right value to make it so the notes never overlap and uh, when you do that length B uh, the length B knob will do nothing and those will generally give off pretty boring sequences so you you pretty much want to avoid that for the most part um, you want to go for uh, sequences where you can get some more interesting stuff by moving around the length B knob so the second group of controls we have are going to control the note range and the note scale that we're going to play. So the range knob is simple. It simply tells you how many notes are going to be in the final sequence. Um, the minimum knob tells you the base note of the sequence and it works in tandem with the transpose knob um, to tell you which scale is going to be played back. And if you're interested how musical scales and modes work, we have a whole playlist of free movies all about it. So if you're curious about that, I suggest you check it out. It's definitely more than I have time to cover in this short video. And finally, the last two knobs are velocity and velocity fluctuation. So the velocity knob tells you the base velocity of the MIDI notes you'll be playing, 
and velocity fluctuation adds a random value to that number. So the higher the fluctuation, the uh, more random the uh, gate value will be. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is how to set up the music box to work with any existing reactor instrument. So make sure you're in edit mode and hop into the structure view. And molecular music box comes looking like this. You can add an instrument by right clicking, going to the instrument uh, menu and choosing a synthesizer. I want to choose steam pipe, which is one of my favorite reactor factory ensembles. Um, connect the outputs of your new synthesizer to the outputs of the ensemble. Um, click on the instrument, go to the connect tab of properties, and select the molecular music box, which is just named instrument from the drop down menu here. And when we go back to the panel view, we should be able to load up a sound and play it back with uh, by starting the reactor sequencer. And like I said before, it's best to find a good mallet type sound to play back. Alright, so this is a pretty simple ensemble overall, but it's a bunch of fun to play around with, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I'll leave a link in the video description to the original video describing this algorithm and another link to the user library entry where you can find a download for it. And once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back next week with a new Reactor video.